Does a man really need to learn game? Well, I was the guy back in the day, back in like my 20s and even into my early to mid 30s. Mm -hmm. I'm 48 for anyone that wants to know. Mm -hmm. uh, back then, I didn't have game per se. Mm -hmm. uh, everything that happened to me literally was one of those, it happened. I was the right guy at the right place at the right time. And so I thought, Hey, I'm doing pretty good. And, and granted, I understood a little bit of, you know, we talk about amused mastery or mm -hmm. push pull. I kind of, some of that, I kind of just did on my own, but a lot of my initial success with women was, uh, very, chancy i okay. would call it right. and it wasn't until i learned about game that my my odds my success ratio went up mm. and i was able to meet and seduce bang whatever a uh, better looking women hotter women mm -hmm. and so i definitely think game is something guys should have especially in today's modern world Mm -hmm. Because anybody can go and buy some decent threads mm -hmm. and, and looking your best helps. Anyone can go and make a bunch of money at whatever level, or at least mm -hmm. give the perception of making a bunch of money. Mm -hmm. uh, part of that is your attire. Part of that is where you live. Part of that is what you drive, especially with social media and the internet. We can present whatever image we want. You can do the money thing, but at the end, game will get you further than those other things if you don't have game. Mm -hmm. You know, you you could have the looks, because I, I have friends that back in my 20s, they had the looks thing down. They knew how to dress. They were in good shape. Uh, they they had the hairstyles, and they had the, the, the trappings, the, the jewelry, the cars. They still didn't know how to interact with women. And so they either got lucky when it came to getting sex or a lot of times they would miss a lot of the signs, a lot of the cues from women. You talk about it, John, with your body language course. Mm -hmm. These guys would totally miss that shit. Mm -hmm. And then the women would be like, what is is that guy gay? Because he didn't he didn't catch the cues and some of them were not subtle. Some of the cues were like, wow, dude, how how uh, blatantly oblivious are you? Yep. And so that's one of the things that I've realized over time. I'm I'm not, you know, the the 35 year old dude making six figs. I'm not six feet tall. I don't have a six pack abs, all of that. I do just fine. Yep. I've and never then, had six pack abs in my life and I've done very well. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I attribute that to game. I attribute mm -hmm. that to, oh, I, I understand what it is to talk to women. I understand in certain cases, it's a numbers game. You're, you're going to get shot down more than you're not. This is mm -hmm. a way to put the odds better in your favor. Um, well, I mean, obviously, I'm sort of slightly biased here. I, I would say guys absolutely do need to learn game. I mean, I, I agree with what Rob's saying. I think the whole sort of looks money side of things i mean look i mean there are plenty of rich guys in london uh who aren't getting any success mm -hmm. with girls you know you see them in the clubs mm -hmm. there are plenty of good looking guys who are getting less optimal success than they could otherwise get you know you only have to go on the subway here and you'll see dudes um who are with let's say women who are you know perhaps below what they could otherwise expect to get. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And the, and the differentiator is game. And by game, I really mean an understanding of social dynamity to influence them in your favor. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, my, my six pack type situation goes up and down. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm, I've been in good shape and, and less good shape. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't claim to be the greatest player on the planet, but I've certainly punched consistently above my weight for a very long time. And I think that is really down to the fact that I have, you know, I've always been fascinated with human dynamics. I've always been fascinated with this stuff. And I think, um, 
my, my own experience tells me that if you learn this stuff, if you internalize this stuff and you, you're persistent, um, then you can get good results. And it's not about being a millionaire. It's not about having Lambos and stuff like that. I mean, yes, that stuff can help at 100%. Um, but you can still do, you can still be incredibly successful off your own back just by understanding games. So I would say, I would say guys do need to learn it. And also as well, I know you were going to go on to talking about if other dudes can get screwed over. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think we. I think you need to understand these principles because even if you're not going to use them and you're in a long-term relationship, you've got to understand the principles because you don't want to risk getting screwed over. And that is a real possibility unless you understand social dynamics and the, and the dynamics between men and women. I have guys, one of the reasons why there's so many guys who are, you know, retired or guys who are in sexless marriages or guys who are in a LTR and they can't, you know, they lot, they well, I lost the frame. The reason why they're coming to guys like me is because it's that it, it, their, their relationships require game. They've never had anything change for them. So literally they have been, they've been married for like 10, 20 years and their marriage was based on those old, that old order way of thinking. The idea that oh, I'm going to take her to the dance. I'm going to, I'm going to be nice to her. I'm going to do all these things because I'm still stuck in that, you know, the way things used to be. But now the red pill comes along and it's got all of this new information and now they see that and they apply that and they they use the red pill awareness in their own marriages and in their own lives. I said this before, is that the red pill is the theory and game is the practice. And how you yeah. choose to use that practice is kind of particular to your own circumstances. If you're a, if you're a young guy and you're 22 years old, you're you don't have any kids, you're not married, whatever, you, you're single. You're going to want to apply that in a different way than a guy who is, uh, you know, just got married or a guy who's been married for 10 years or whatever. So, but game is going to be necessary on so it is and has been. It's going to be so necessary on so many different levels that I think it's kind of ridiculous. To, I even question whether or not game is going to be something that we all need to at least have a basic understanding of and then finally this I, and i gotta get going here but like um you're good yeah the, the other thing is this is that um everybody has game to some degree everyone that the 10 year old kid that you know that's a that's in just coming out of grammar school you ask that kid what hey johnny uh, how 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 do you get a girlfriend johnny i'll guarantee you that guy has a very complex like you know game or like idea of how he can go from being you know Johnny the the chump to Johnny with a girlfriend. Women are forced to learn game. I don't think you guys realize yep. how as soon as a girl is like gets a set of like budding tits when she's like 13, 14, 15, 12 you know, pe people are hitting on her. People are starting to hit on her like other boys Sometimes that like you know male teachers in the school feel uh, there's an you know if she's like if she's like if her body made her a woman but she's si still 16 you know what I mean but she's fully developed, um, you know the the male teachers some male teachers they like they just like are attracted to her right and and you know like my, my my girls like relatively innocent and she would tell me all the time like some when she you know in a little in like a, this countryside school in Japan that. Uh, one of the the teachers like kind of liked her, and she knew it, and she would always be kind and flirt with him. She was fifteen; she was kind and flirt with him, so he would bump her test scores. So they they are, um, they are forced to learn game because if you know, like all of us here, we're all good looking guys. I I disagree how many a bit, you, John. If you don't, how, I, how, well, I gotta, I, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Well, I, I was just gonna say, you know, I'm disagreeing. Well, okay, that's fine. But like, I'm just saying because, um, you know, they <laughs> if if you had as many women, it's the average guy. If the average guy had as many women approaching them and hitting them up uh, as often as it happens to women, that guy would develop game too. Because um, the average girl, the average girl everywhere, social media, Facebook inbox loaded with creeps, Instagram. Yep inbox loaded dms comments everything twitter pinterest linkedin the he, these girls are getting slammed with opportunities from dick all over and that's why these girls are getting better at game because they yeah. are totally 
getting thrown through the uh, the ringer. I, you know, I'm going to agree with Roosh's uh, prognostications back in the day. I think that game plus fame is going to be a necessary, uh, even more necessary in the future. It already is. Like back, I, I think you and I, you, you were there when I, t when I read that one post that Roosh had back in uh, 2010. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. And he was saying that in the future, you know, you could get used to flakes. Um, a, uh, a number close is just like, it's funny how we remember how I was telling you, like in the, the, the previous show about how old order thinking versus new order thinking yeah. old order thinking was get her phone number. Right. Remember back in the day when, when Neil Strauss and mystery and everybody like that was a success was to get a girl's phone number to, mm -hmm. to number close was, it was a big deal to kiss close was a big deal. Nowadays, a number doesn't mean jack shit. And it's like, you have to, you have to pull. Yeah, you have to pull yourself away from all that. And no, nobody cares about what your phone number is. What's your Instagram? What's your Snapchat? What's your whatever? So, you know, insert social media here. <clears throat> Where, what is that? Because women don't care about, about who you are. They care about what you are. That's Okay, this is a good question. So you do, new, you do need game, but you don't need game. You don't need game if, you just, if you're just interested in sex. You can easily monetize sex, just, 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 you know, dealing with women, but the game comes with dealing with the women long-term. So, you know, a lot of guys, they meet women, they have sex with women and they'll think that they're pumping and dumping, but really women are losing interest. That's what's really happening. Mm -hmm. So that's where the game comes in. I feel like men need to take the time out to really learn themselves. And then once you learn, See, once you learn yourself, then you realize that you're a prize. You can't mm -hmm. if you don't if you don't realize that you're a prize, the way that you deal with women is still going to be a little sketchy when it comes to a woman of giving you when she objects what you say or, you know, she shit tests you and you don't know the difference. So that's what knowing yourself is, because you know yourself, you look at yourself as a prize. So you don't look at it as a loss if things with the women doesn't go your way. Right. So I feel like men need to take the time to learn they self. And then the most important thing is just if you're not getting laid, don't focus on just trying to figure out how to get laid. Take a year off. Think of it like think of it like um, college for ladies. Right. Mm -hmm. Take a year off. Study body language. Um, practice talking to people. When you talk to people enough, you learn how to control conversations. Game is the foundation. You can be there. There's stories out there of, of dudes that are 300 some odd pounds that are pulling nines and tens and getting sex three, four or five days a week whenever they want. Why is that? Mm -hmm. Well, it's because game is the foundation. Game yeah. is the foundation by which you need to build yourself up as right. Game is king. Um, if you understand female nature and then you understand your position in there, then that is the number one. It's. So check it out. Uh, I personally believe every man needs to know some sort of game, at least to an absolute minimum. Every man needs game in the 21st century. The simple fact of the matter is, if you don't learn the game, all these women are basically on it. Whether they yeah. know it actively or inactively, they are executing and living aspects of game life that are, requires you to just be competitive. You can't, I mean, unless you're going to go MGTOW or something, and then you're going to decide, I'm going to check out of the game until the conditions are right, whatever that's supposed to be. I tell this is something I tell a lot of Muslim guys because you know, like you said, I'm a Muslim guy. You know, I'm married to multiple women. I'm always trying to get married, get more. You know, I'm gonna rack up my four, inshallah, God willing. Uh -huh. And the thing is this: a lot of guys have these, and we go back, we come back to the word of apotheosis. A lot of Muslim guys make the apotheosis of Muslim women as these like you know angelic righteous beings that don't have carnal desires. And then to top it off, they're dealing with women in the West, and that's the primary point that they're forgetting that although they are Muslims, they're also women, you know? And so the same basic biological drives that are in any non-Muslim women are in Muslim women also, but there's just basically limiters to, you know, hypergamy in regards to what they're allowed to do and what they're not allowed to do publicly, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And so now you have a disconnect where you got guys trying to be where the game is, let me be hyper-religious and that's the game. And that does work with a certain uh, percentage of these of Muslim women. There are a certain percentage of Muslim women who that's what they look for in a man. 
But by far and large, we're dealing with women who are living in major cities or close to major cities and working in them. And so their daily life is one of the surroundings around them, which is a non-Muslim environment. And so they're directly affected by the environment they're in. And therefore, game works on them just like it does with non-Muslim women. It's just they have their limits. Most Muslim women look for Muslim men. And so when you kick game as a Muslim guy, but game from a non-Muslim perspective, ah, dude. It's, it's a shoe in. You, you're, you're killing it. 